Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Austin from AwfulMedia.com and today I'm going to show you a little quick trick on uh, sprucing up your website just a wee bit more. We're going to be using Google Web Fonts. If you don't know what a web font is, then stick around and if you do, you may get a little bored. So we're just going to go over uh, how web fonts work and how to implement them within your website. For this, we're going to be using Google Web Fonts because I just love their interface and it's uh, you know, a lot of high quality fonts. So it's it's you know we're going to use that. Let's go to the browser. We're going to run over to Google.com/webfonts, and we get this nice little interface right here, and with all these different little fonts. Oh, excuse me, that we can uh, choose from and use in our website we can click add to collection and add them to our font collection down here where we can uh, go over them and use them individually if we like or any way that we like so what I do though is if I find a font I like I just go quick use because I, I never use more than one font per website so it doesn't really make a difference to me but say I like this font and I do it's a really nice font I'm gonna click quick use and then I come to this page here where I have this little meter that's telling me how much page load time I am increasing by. So you can see if I turn it off, it goes down to zero, and uh, that's obvious. And then if I come down here, I get this CSS link that I'm going to be embedding on my website. And they give us add import and JavaScript options as well, but we don't want that. No, we don't. We're going to be using the CSS option. And if we look at the CSS here, since all it's doing is linking to a CSS file, we can also go check out that file ourselves. And this is what we have. And we have the at font face, and we're going to, uh, it's, bleh, let me stutter some. Headland one is a font family, font style normal, 400. Then we have the source here. And what this is doing is it's saying, okay, these are going to be this locally. This is what's called locally, this is what's going to do locally in the uh, browser but we're going to link to the web font right here and the format of it is WOFF so that's the font it's doing and how this works is it has the font on a web server and it can load it in dynamically that way but originally before this whole web font stuff came along you would have to have the font installed on your computer for the web browser to render it. It's still the case. I mean, you still it still uses your computer installed fonts, what, what fonts you have on your computer. But now we can uh, kind of cater to more custom fonts using this CSS trick here. So it's pretty awesome stuff. And what we could do, instead of actually linking to the CSS file, we could just take this line of CSS and embed it in our CSS file. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to do it this way. We're just going to take this link right here, Control C, come to Notepad. And right below this, I'm going to enter down and paste that link in there. So now it's going to bring in that style onto my website. And if I come down a little bit further, we get the style that we're going to apply to our properties Font Family Headland 1. Control C that. If we come into the style.css, I want to say H1 because that's the tag that I have the t uh, the heading wrapped in for the demo page. H1. Then I want to paste in the font family headland one. I'm gonna make a font size pretty large, just like a 70 pixel or something for the tutorial purposes. Make sure it's linking in. Yes, it is. Control S, browser. Let's go over here and hit F5. And there we go. We have the whoop. We have the Google Web Font loaded on our website, and we are applying it to a tag, and it is working. And it looks like a pretty, you know, it looks pretty cool. Put a lot of work into that, didn't you? No, I didn't. I linked in the style sheet and then added the style to a tag. It's all I did. But it looks like you did something cool. But you, you know, you didn't. You know, you did. So I want to go here, and I'm going to say H2, and apply that style to that too. And you'll see it apply it. To that line but what we could do is we could just come in here and say uh, h1 and h2 and h3 and h4 and h5 and h6 then we could apply styles to all of these that would uh, it would apply it to all of those tags so if I paste that in there 
I can get rid of these. And it'll still have the same font family, of course, making that one smaller because I got rid of that size. So that's cool. And again, like I said, you can come in here and take this uh, at font face right here and just paste that directly in your CSS file and get rid of your link right here. Control S, uh, F5 refresh right here, and the style stay the same. And you get rid of a request on this page, but it's still having to go there on your CSS. So you're not saving too much by doing that, definitely. But it's there, it's an option. And you need to be careful using these fonts, not necessarily because you know using a font or two is bad, but if you have a website that has uh, 10 or 20 fonts loaded in from a different web server other than yours, that's just you know a few more things that the user has to load in for your website to be finished loading. So you need to uh, keep that in mind. And don't forget about the vast, vast, vast library of uh, fonts that Google has listed on here for you. And their near endless scrolling list. I love that. It's pretty cool. And all of these can be used. Like this one, it says has four styles. So if I go, uh, go, if I go it, if I do that, you can see I have these uh, different styles I can select. I can select all these styles. But every time I do that, that little meter goes up and up and up. The higher that goes, the slower my page is going to load, pretty much. So that is uh, pretty much it for this tutorial, or this, uh, I wouldn't really a tutorial, I just kind of introduced you to a web service. Maybe you didn't know about it, if you didn't, there you go, awesome, awesome stuff. So if you like this kind of tutorial, or again, if you like this kind of video, let me know. If you do not, if it's kind of a waste of time, just let me know that too, so I know not to waste my time with it. I can do these shorter videos on a lot uh, more uh, consistent basis, I guess. Like when I was doing the 30 minute videos, that, that takes a while to do. Because not only do I have to record them, I have to edit those, and those take quite a while to edit. But these little 10 minute videos or whatever, I can do in no time. The editing is pretty simple, nothing really too bad there. So if you like these, let me know, and I will definitely pump some more out about uh, some things that are important to the web design field. So if you want to see more videos like this, do subscribe. If you do not subscribe, but dislike the video and let me know why. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.